it's Gloria Kramer from Oakville, Canada, and today we are going to be putting together this cute little easel card. I don't know if you can see it, but uh, this is what it looks like finished. Uh, this is what it looks like when you send it in the mail. Um, so let's get started. This is part of my Whimsical Trees online class. It was a product-based class. I've sort of already pre-stamped uh, some of the images. Uh, in the card kits, you may have uh, the pieces that are from the DSP, which I used the dies, and I was able to cut out. Um, so let's get started. So first of all, we're going to put these pink strips on the top and the bottom of the card base. There are two strips and let me see if I have, I'll give you the measurements. It's, um, it's five and a half by one and a quarter. So you'll need two of those. Five and a half by one and a quarter. And then of course this card base here, this white is um, five and a half by four and a quarter. That I don't need to measure. I realized that in some of my videos, I haven't really been giving out the measurements because I forget that not everyone gets the kits. Now this piece here measures two and three quarters by eight and a half, and I've scored it at four and a, four and a quarter and two and one eighth. So those are your score lines, two and one eighth, four and a quarter, this is eight and a half by two and three quarters. So hopefully I set that slow enough that you have written it down. But the great thing about videos is you can re rewind it and listen to it again. Okay. So now I've put adhesive on the, the side that does not have the um, score line. And then you're just going to center that. I just sort of eyeball it. Center that and then press down. Now with the snowflake, so there's, there goes my crazy dogs. So with my snowflake, what I did is I'm just going to take a pair of scissors and basically just cut it. I don't cut it completely in half. Like, it's not exactly in the middle. Um, and now we're going to just put some glue on this. And we're going to glue it down. That was my dogs getting a little excited over, um, over our neighbor's dog going outside. going to put this, line it up to the edge, and then we're going to take the other half and we're going to, again, make sure that, that you use, uh, you put the glue on the non-shiny side because there's a shiny side, that's the side that you want to 
to show up. And then Okay, next we're going to take this DSP, this shiny DSP, and we're going to put it right there on the inside of our card. And we're going to leave about a one-eighth of an inch all around. Again, I just sort of eyeball it. And then we have, let's do, let's do this piece here. So we're going to add our tree. And what I like to do is I like to take a um, pencil and I like to draw a line on the back so that I know how much it glue to put up to so that doesn't end up sticking out on the other side. There's our tree. And then I'm going to take our little foil tree. And this one's also going to be glued down. This one I can tell where I'm going to put the glue up to. So. If you don't have this Tombow glue, you need to get some. It will make your life so much easier. So I'm going to put that one right there. And then we have this tree here that I'm going to pop up on dimensionals. We'll put one big one and then one little one for the top. And then you should have a little present piece. Now you're going to pick one of the presents to go on the outside. And then one of the presents are going to go on the inside of your card. You'll have a little star. I think this is a, reti uh, this is a retired item from, I think, last year. Um, so we're just going to put our star on the top of this tree. So cute. And then with the presents, I'm just going to, I think I'm going to pick this one for the outside. Oh, maybe I should use that one for the inside. And I'll use this green one for the outside, even though it looks, there's a lot of green there. You know what, let's go with the pink. I'm just going to trim my present down a little, I think. I don't want it to stick out that much. That works. So we're going to put a dimensional on the back of this gift. And this is just from DSP. So you need to fussy cut um, your little present pieces. And then we're going to try to decide where we're going to put the next gift. So the next gift, which is going to also hold up your card, I'm going to put a big dimensional on the back of that. And I'm going to put it right there. So this is going to help hold up your card.
Now our next step is going to be to stamp our sentiment um, for this card. And this time I'm going to use uh, crumb cake as my ink. I'm using the same one. May the love of the season warm your home and fill your heart. This is from the stamp set. But again, you can use whatever sentiment you have. This is crumb cake ink. I'm going to stamp that right there. That's pretty perfect. And then I'm going to use this little, I'm going to put mine right on the top this time. And then again, you can, when you're popping up your card, if you want to use that as the piece that pops it up, that works. If you want to pop it up like that, that also works. So there's really two ways to, to sort of pop up this card. I'm going to put two large dimensionals on the back. Oops. And then we're just going to center that. And there we go. So again, you can hold up your card this way, or you can hold it up this way. And there is our finished cards. And then, of course, you have lots of space on the back of your card for any writing that you want to do. So thanks again for joining me. And uh, have an awesome, awesome day. And again, if you want to stamp something on the back of this, uh, let's stamp something on the back of this. Let's go back to our trusty little tree here. And I'm just going to lay that flat. Generally, if you're going to stamp something on your card base do it before you start putting your card together that way if you sort of mess up you can you can use another one because once you have it all put together and if you mess up then well it's a little too late would also be great for the envelope. When you're stamping, if you very have stuff, you always try to put it as flat as possible before stamping your image. So there we go. And then, of course, I'm going to color this in. I'm going to use the old olive. These are my alcohol-based markers. So this is my darker one. Now the alcohol-based markers are great for blending. Um, I usually start off with the darker one and then uh, use the lighter one to, to blend it all in together. And when you purchase these, they come with the two colors so that it makes it really easy to, to blend them. Now we're going to use the real red. And there.
there's two two tips to these markers. Oops. There's two tips to these markers. There's a this is the brush tip, and you saw me earlier using the fine tip. So, and now we are completely done. So thanks again for joining me, and uh, stay tuned. I have two more cards for you, and then um, and then hopefully we can get through this without the dogs going nuts. Happy Sunday.